Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another painting video. Um, I'm going to jump right in. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with my phone and there's not a lot of memory, even though I keep trying to free up memory. Anyway, um, today I am using Walmart products, not Dollar Tree products, so that's different. I'm using acrylic, not tempera paint, so I'm trying. Um, I already have the paints mixed here. And shout out to Left Brained Artist because I've watched a lot of his videos and so that's the technique that I did for mixing the paints. This technique, I can't remember where I got it from. I will try to find it and link it. But this is to do like the test to see like if they're all the same consistency. And as you can see when I did it the first time, the yellow is way thinner. Um, so then I went back and I mixed again. And I have been mixing and mixing and mixing. <laughs> And I cannot, the yellow is so thin, I think it's just the pigment, because no matter how much water I put in the others, they seem to not match. But let's do another quick test to see. Okay, they're a lot closer now. That is really good. The yellow still is much more um, runny, if that's the word, thinner. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to salvage a little bit of this back into here. But that was, that was a really good test. I will try to link um, whoever put that on their video because that helped me so much. I swear I've been mixing like 30 minutes and I was like, I cannot get them the same consistency. The yellow was so thin, I guess just right off the bat. I barely added like maybe three or four drops of water and then uh, mixed them all and I could tell it was really light but uh, or that it was thinner but I just could not get them to match up anyway so it's very true what they say that the pigments matter and there's no exact recipe like people can come on there and do tutorials and try to teach us as much as they can but some of it really is like they say it comes down to uh, the feel of it, the feel of it, like how it feels when you mix it and how it looks when you drain it. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to try to hurry because I don't have much memory on my phone. So, again, I'm just doing a pour, P-O-U-R, a pour <laughs> painting. So I'm going to be um, putting the cup, the... The paints into this cup again I did get this from Walmart just really quick I ordered everything that left brain artist sorry left brain artist from YouTube um, had on his so he had the uh, glue you know what he did not that is why <laughs> I just realized I think it says glue all and this says school glue so that may be my problem Duh. okay so I didn't know there was a difference but maybe there is and then he didn't recommend these canvases but these are the canvases that I found they were 10 canvases 8 by 10 canvases 10 canvases for like 1384 so they come out to a dollar fifty each he did recommend five ounce cups so I got five ounce cups uh, there's a hundred in here and they were about um, 334 so they came out to like three cents each um, and then I got this um, folk art mat. Now he did not remember, recommend this brand or the mat. Um, he just recommended these little two ounce bottles for people just getting started. So hopefully that helps someone just getting started. Afterwards, after I ordered all this, I realized that um, I should have gotten probably the gloss. But anyway, okay. So now we're going to put the the three colors that I chose for today, uh, the colors are lipstick red, pure orange, and yellow light. I was hoping this is going to kind of have like, I want to do one that kind of has like a sunflower, I mean not a sunflower, one that has like kind of like a sunset look and then one that has kind of like um, maybe a flower. So. He said this should be enough for three paintings, so we will see. Again, everyone can come on and give you tutorial tutorials 
and information, but it just comes down to, like he said, just jump in and do it. So this is going to be my third pouring art, um, or pour painting. I feel like these are just so thin. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I wasn't even looking at the camera, y'all. I was concentrating so hard. So, <laughs> I hope you saw that. I don't know if you could. Oh my gosh, look, it does look really pretty. Okay, I kind of forgot I was videoing there for a little bit. Okay, and then again, I got these um, canvases. I pulled out the pull, the, the, can't even talk. I pulled out the push pins to put on the back, but I'm already covered in uh, paint, so we're going to go with it. Again, these are the colors. Wow, it's so pretty. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to set it down. Let it set for a minute. So nervous okay and then I'm gonna pull it to the side and pull it back oh it's already going so fast yeah it's really thin okay I shouldn't have done all that drizzle dang it I should have put it on the edges newbie mistake just gonna change it but I'm gonna try to cover these edges a little bit. Okay, go to one edge, and that one's already like pretty much covered. And then go over to the other edge. And then back to kind of like the middle. Since we're so close to that edge already, I'm gonna go this way. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but that's what we're doing. Okay, and it's covered. And then down to this edge. While this one's going, I'm gonna just touch up the sides a little bit. Okay, so this is definitely better than my other two, <laughs> I have to say. So thank you, shout out to Left Brained Artist. You gave me a lot of good info and it inspired me, helped me, guided me. I think that is a very good win. <laughs> I can't hold it up too close because it's dripping a lot more than my others. So you can hang it that way, you can hang it that way. You can hang it that way. What do y'all think? Is that more like a solar system or a sunset? <laughs> Not sure. Okay. So, this one is probably not going to dry right because I didn't put the thumbtacks. Womp, womp, womp. But, you know, learning. Okay. I need to transfer this over here without making too big of a mess. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take these off so I can try to put something Um, under that real quick.
before I forget, I'm going to put the little push pins that he was talking about. It's supposed to help it stay up, help the canvas stay up off the ground, off the wherever you have it drying. Um, and they're supposed to be even. He said to use a level, which I did not get a level out because I really wasn't, I guess, fully prepared. Um, so I don't know, maybe this, okay, this is not wanting to go in for me. So I'm just going to skip that step for now. I'm sure it's something that I will learn better and do better in the future. But I do want to get that one up off of itself. Uh, I think I'm going to use two of the little 5 ounce cups and set it up on here. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. I think that's good for now. Um, so I still have paints left. So I'm going to do a second one. Mm. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a newbie? I don't even know what to do. I'm like stuck. I don't know if I should like try to scrape that back up now. No, I'm just going to go. Uh, I'm going to put, I don't know, this is how not to do it, you guys. <laughs> oh, I can learn from my mistakes. Okay, so I'm going to take, I think since it's the same colors, um, maybe I will get a new cup. Oh, yay, I already got one out. Okay. So I'm going to put the red on bottom again because it's a lot. It's one of the heavier ones. Red. Orange. By the way, for anyone, everyone who's watching, thank you for watching. Yes, I am a newbie. I am unorganized, but hey. <laughs> I'm doing something. I'm not sitting down watching TV. I'm being creative, getting out of my comfort zone, doing something different. I'm so sorry. I'm doing this off camera again. I, it's, it's such a, um, <laughs> it takes so much concentration to do this. I thought I heard Left Brain Artist say that he got three pours when he did it this way with the three ounce, with the three two ounce bottles, but it's looking like I'm only going to get two, which is okay. I'm probably doing something a little wrong. You know what? I bet it's, <laughs> I bet it's because I used the wrong glue. I don't even think I realized that Elmer's has school glue and glue all. Am I the only one that didn't recognize that? So now I have two big old bottles of school glue. All right, last little bit of yellow. Can y'all see it coming together? Okay, talking to myself, do not, do not do the swirly thing at the end. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to be really brave and I'm going to try the colander pour. I've seen it done both ways. Um, I'm thinking since that this colander is bigger than my actual canvas, I'm just going to do it this way. Um, so we're just going to pour and see what happens. It's just a colander. The colander's from Dollar Tree. I had it already. And I'm thinking, hoping that this might be like a 
flowery effect. Oh, and I'm doing the little twirl thing again. Why do I do that? I do not know, but I guess we're going to go with it and just... <laughs> just go with it. Okay, and just in case it doesn't reach the edges, I'm going to use this paint that my canvas is actually sitting in, which is not good, I'm sure, but hey. Is it, and I'm going to use this extra heavily right here. Uh, is it a sign of an unprofessional artist when there's <laughs> paint covering the back of your canvas? <laughs> I'm going to say yes. <laughs> My art's ever at Goodwill and you see it, you'll be like, who did this, a five-year-old? All right, so... Well, I just moved it. All right. Ready? I guess. I mean, apparently I'm a squirrely person. I don't know. I just can't. <laughs> apparently I can't help myself. Okay. I don't know why I did that, but okay. <laughs> okay, this one just turned out just orange. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. Um, okay, he said go to one side and then back to the middle a little bit. Oh, there's some yellow coming out and then down to the bottom side. Oh, and then back to the middle. And then cover this side. <laughs> How did this one turn out all orange? What did I do wrong? All you pros out there. Okay, and then since I'm seeing some yellow up here in this top corner, I'm going to want to exploit that and get that out as much as possible. So I'm going to let it continue to drain this way. I don't know if y'all can see that. I mean, there are some swirls in there. I'm hoping when it dries, it's even more pronounced. I'm knocking things over. I'm getting some more of that yellow up there, some more swirly. go now I'm seeing it more the camera lighting is terrible sorry about that but it is kind of pretty up close okay I'm going to take this glove off okay and then get me some little cups to set this one on Try to do this. Hopefully not drip. Okay. Okay. So 
that concludes the crazy part. <laughs> no, the fun part. That was really fun. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. I had so much fun doing it, learning a lot as I go. And I just wanted to show you really quick. I uh, have started, this is not what I was going to show you, but I have started my journal. Um, they talked about, or he talked about having a paint journal so you can know like what colors, combinations you mix. Um, I will probably not use this brand again. Uh, if I continue doing this, I'll probably move up a little bit. Um, what was I going to show you? Oh, these are the ones that have dried. So I just wanted to show you real quick. This was my first one that I did. And you can see when it dried, it actually did come out really pretty. This one was tempera paint with no, no glue, no water, no medium, anything. So I think it came out really pretty actually. <laughs> um, but again, it's tempera paint, so I don't know like how long it'll last or whatever. And then this one <laughs> dried way different. Oh, Y'all can't really see it. But it actually has a lot of texture and color that it did not look like it was going to have. Um, yeah, y'all can't really see it. Sorry, the lighting's so bad. But I guess those are where the bubbles were that it popped, but it kind of looks like outer spacey. So anyway, it came out really nice as well. Um, or not really nice, but you know, for a second attempt. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment, question, suggestions, please, suggestions. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching and you have a beautifully blessed day.